Now we are following breaking news out of Loveland. The cleanup is just beginning after a train derailment. Yeah, Loveland police say that this happened overnight near the intersection of 8th and Madison. 90s reporter Brianna Fernandez is live there this morning getting more information for us. Brianna, one other thing we learned this morning is that there was a fuel leak here. Yeah, that's exactly right. That's the, according to the Loveland Police Department as well as the fire department. It was a diesel spill that was contained and they said it did not spread onto the creek. That's right near these train tracks that you see over my shoulder. I'm sure you could see the train right behind me. I'm going to step out of the way so you guys can see. It's very hard to tell because it's so dark out here. But this happened according to Loveland Police and Fire Department. They say that the train derailed overnight and happened just north of 8th Street and Madison Avenue. So this is just west of I-25. And now we're being told that there is no injuries and we also said uh, we are also seeing the hazmat contractor because the fire department said that they had to turn this over to the rail company, which has their own hazmat contractor on scene. They're taking care of the spill. We're not seeing any fire department or police department at the moment. Now, the train cars will be cleared later today, but when exactly that will happen, that's still unclear. We are being told that they might have to close down Madison Avenue, but what I can tell is that Madison Avenue looks like a residential area. Not a lot, not a lot of cars passing by through here. We're a couple homes to the side and a couple businesses to my left. So again, if you this is part of your morning drive, maybe heading down Highway 34 into I-25 and you live along Madison Avenue, this is going to affect your morning drive. Of course, we're going to stay on top of this breaking news story and bring you the latest once we get them. Jordan, Corey. And of course, this is the second tra train derailment that we've seen in the last two weeks. The last one happening in Keensburg. Brianna was also out there mm -hmm. as well. So thank you so much for following and giving us the updates, Brianna.